out. Out. Uh, I hit myself in the face. Oh, right in the nose. Whew. It feels broken. Before I start really feeling pain, I need to finish this up and not do that again. Hey everybody, what's up? So, for today's video, it's going to be all about exhausts. One of the things that I wanted to do with this car at the beginning was not spend four or five thousand dollars on an exhaust and that's what kind of seemed like the going rate for any full exhaust cat back system so initially I was like that that's ridiculous I mean that's crazy to spend that much money on exhaust I could get a beater E46 as a a fun little car to goof around with for the same amount of money so I figured I would try to save myself some money and uh, try to find a different solution one of the things I decided to do was I needed, I knew I wanted to have full valve control with the flap. Uh, I wanted to be able to make it quiet when I wanted to and I also wanted to be able to open it up and I wanted to do it on command. I saw some people would mod it just so they would always be open all the time and I just, I didn't think that was a good uh, solution for me. So what I did to first get the valve control is I went with a JB4 which <clears throat> with the different maps I was able to get some good horsepower gains and open up that exhaust flat which gave it a much better sound. And then paired with that I decided to go uh, with Catless Downpipes which I went with VRSF for. And those were awesome, like when I first did that it was like a night and day difference in the exhaust note. It was much more deep and it just had a much better exhaust tone relatively speaking because the inline six cylinder this s55 engine the exhaust note is just it's not the greatest but i did like the way it sounded with a little bit more oomph in it so i've been driving with that for a while and i loved it but of course time goes by and i said oh i would like a little bit more and i've been seeing a lot of people getting like some good burble sounds out of their cars and i just love the way that sounds and so i thought how can i get that but not buy a whole exhaust system and blow a ton of money. So I thought, let me check out what VRSF has to offer because those Catless downpipes were affordable and they're awesome. Uh, I love the way they are on my car right now and I thought it was a really good product and let me see what they have to offer. So these right here, after that long story, <laughs> these right here are their mid pipe. It's a single mid pipe so what it does is it takes the dual exhaust right off of the, the dual pipes right off of the catless downpipes. So you got two downpipes coming off of the engine and normally it flows two pipes all the way back. What VRSF does is they go from two into a single uh, wider mid pipe and that extends for a good chunk of the uh, center region of the car and then it splits back out to uh, dual pipe again and marries back up with the stock in my scenario I'll marry it back up with the stock uh, M4 exhaust so I think this is going to be the opt optimum solution for what I'm looking to do I'll still keep the valve control of the stock exhaust I'll be able to open it up when I want to and so this package just came in the mail today so I'm stoked I probably won't install this until tomorrow tomorrow night because I just don't have time to do this right now and uh, I'm gonna look into an interesting uh, kind of alternative to cutting the exhaust. I see a lot of people using uh, Sawzalls or the reciprocating saws and I don't know up under the car I just feel like I might not get a straight cut so I'm gonna go with a more manual method. They make uh, exhaust cutters that are just um, like a pipe cutter but tons of little uh, circular blades that spin you kind of spin it around the exhaust. Much more manual to do, but it's going to give a really clean straight edge cut. 
And so I think I'm going to give that a try. And uh, it may not be the best solution, but I'm going to try it out and see what happens. Well, yeah, here we go. So these are the exhaust pieces. Uh, I'm going to grab these and take them out individually. Oh, I almost fell. So this is what I was talking about, where you go from the uh, twin pipe. So this goes, you know, right off of the uh, down pipes, mounts up, and then it goes into this single flow, and we got a pretty meaty opening there. So this will open things up. And again, this whole mid pipe is straight all the way through. There are no um, resonators or second stage cats. So we're gonna eliminate both of those and get this new interesting uh, single pipe design. Continuation of that pipe. Uh, this just marries into the end here. Continues down the rest of the middle of the car as a single flow and then it's splitting back out and then once it splits out at that end then we've got two of these pipes which will go around the rear differential there connect back into the stock muffler at the end uh, another thing that I saw with these is that so what you do is you take your existing exhaust and you cut them right before, a little bit before the back uh, muffler and you put these couplers on. Um, looks like we've got some, some clamps, two gaskets, some hardware here. We'll dig into this. I actually should probably look up the instructions and try to figure out what some of these pieces go to. So, yeah, this is going to be great. Got one more box over here. Not sure what's in it. Oh, <laughs> this is probably, this looks like another coupler as well. I think this couples the, the larger uh, pipes in the center to the back. So, yeah. Overall, this is going to be pretty awesome. Um, I'm not going to install this tonight. I just was getting antsy. I needed to open this box and I had to look at it because I'm just sick of staring at it closed and I wanted to unbox it in front of you. So tomorrow when I get out of work, I will start this job and I'll have you there by my side and we'll go through this step by step. Hopefully we get the exhaust note that I'm looking for. Yeah, we'll move to the garage tomorrow night. Hey, what's up guys? It is the next day after I showed you the mid pipe unboxing. And so I'm here in the garage. I've got the car kind of up on jack stands here and some kind of uh, rigged up ramp mechanisms there in the back. Hopefully I have enough room. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. It's a pretty straightforward install. Uh, just undoing some bolts and putting the new exhaust up in, uh, just the mid pipe only. I've got this cutting tool, which I think I mentioned last night that I wanted to try out to get a clean cut. I could use a reciprocating saw to do the same job, but I think this will give a straighter, cleaner cut. It's a little bit more labor intensive, but essentially you know you've got gosh here we go so essentially you got this uh, these little blades and it's just like a regular pipe cutter but it's got an extended version with a bunch of different blades on it you wrap this around the exhaust pipe and you kinda twist it back and forth and these slowly uh, cut into the exhaust so for now since there's a ton of stuff to do. Uh, I'm not really quite sure how I'm gonna go about it. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna climb under there, bring the camera down there with me, 
and start unbolting some stuff and I'll talk a little bit along the way. All right guys, what's up? So I'm gonna go here and take off these four bolts connecting the mid pipe to the down pipe. like my GoPro just decided to freeze up on me I'm not sure what you guys missed so I'm gonna go back under here and show you kind of a breakdown of what I did there were four bolts there I undid and I started removing that realized not an issue that's just keeping the exhaust pair connect to the bottom of the car and took this center plate off which was right there I think part of that got caught right before the camera cut out but I decided now I got to take the exhaust out of these hangers and before I do that part of me was thinking now's a good time to maybe cut the exhaust from back here so these two pieces are going to pretty much follow these bends all the way back here so I think I can just make a cut here and we got that long coupler which is makes this cut a little bit forgiving all right so I think I'm going to cut just before just before these uh, welds probably about it I think about an inch back or so maybe two and uh, th we've got couplers that are this long so if I'm off by a little bit they should uh, keep up with the slack there so I'm gonna come back a little bit conservatively here and make a mark all right so ideally I think we want to come back and do about here hold the pipe up here and kind of show you what my thoughts are on this. So I follow this natural bend of the pipe here but you can see there's a little bit of a, a groove here so I want this pipe underneath here to kind of fit in like that so I think where I want to make the cut is right about there on that side. Now on this side, try to do about the same, thinking right about, right about there, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut these, which will help me actually pull the rest of the exhaust down, so so it make my job a lot easier doing that. I've never used one of these tools before, so you guys are gonna see here right along with me what this is like. So I know that you just kinda line up these edges and you kinda just bring the tool into about where you want to start cutting and then you clamp it and you start kind of rolling it back and forth is one down one more to go
two straight cuts. That's awesome. All right, guys. Now all we gotta do is take the exhaust off the hangers, and uh, it should just drop down. I'm just gonna take the whole darn thing off, so 12 millimeter, so it's probably 13. Yep. There we go. myself with exhaust. Well guys, there it is. Exhaust is pulled down. We got nice clean cuts with that tool, which I think is Pretty awesome, it's a little bit manual intensive, but what else? Um, okay, I'm going to uh, pull the exhaust out from under here. And then I think it's time to go up under here. And we're going to install this piece is the first piece to go on. I'm going to install everything very loosely so we have wiggle room for um, installing everything. These are the old crush gaskets. You don't want to reuse those. So. Essentially this thing is going to in here like this. I just loosely connected up here. I don't want to tighten this down because I want to be able to adjust things. I want to be able to adjust things as we go, so um, got this first piece on, then we need to get the next three and a half inch pipe piece. We'll couple that on here and we'll keep working our way back. All right, back where we were, and we're going to start connecting on to our second piece. Take this thing apart and fit it up over. Trying to center the exhaust. That kind of helps hold things together while we work over here. Nice and tight. So, now that this is in, I'm gonna go ahead and put that bracket back up. <laughs> so 
So now, all we have left is two more pieces. Alright guys, I went ahead and took the uh, exhaust hangers. WD-40 worked really good to get those exhaust hangers off and I transferred them over to each of these uh, rear exhaust pieces. And we're going to attach them here and then in the rear as well. Not 100% sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'm going to kind of keep an eye out while I'm under here. Huh. I'm trying to figure out what's been grinding under here when I drive. Anyways, so. So the way these brackets work, or these braces work is they, they kind of slide up over when these pieces meet together and they uh, clamp around. They got this funky mechanism for tightening them down, but uh, it's a little odd, but looks like it'll work. There we go. These are the couplers we're going to need. Not sure what you can see here. These are the couplers. These go on. I'm going to kind of bring this closer so you can see. These are going to go on. Hold on. They gotta be loosened. There we go. So now we got that. I'm just gonna hand tighten that so we can adjust the back. We're gonna have a coupler clamp here. It's gonna fit like that. Slide that on. Bring that piece together like that. Alright, so now I'm going to tighten this back side and we'll be all good on this side. Well, basically, just repeat this. Ouch! Ouch! Uh, I hit myself on the face. What the f oh, right in the nose. Whew. It feels broken. Before I start really feeling pain, I need to finish this up and not do that again. Probably tomorrow. That's gonna 
suck. I'm gonna do the same thing over again. I'm gonna put the exhaust hanger back up first. Boom. Perfect. I'm gonna go back through and tighten everything up. But uh that's it. That's the install. Whew. So yeah. I mean that's basically all we got. All I gotta do is tighten up this clamp over here. This side's already tight. I'm going to go back through and tighten up the downpipe connection and uh, then we're going to start it up and see what it sounds like. But overall, it's a pretty awesome looking exhaust. Uh, VRSF and the price point and the quality of their exhaust. So. I'm not gonna bore you with tightening everything back up, so whew, I'm gonna go tighten that stuff up and then we'll start it up. Stuff out of the way. Got the car all back down. I have to use this block and brick set up here to get a jack under the front end of the car for that jack point just because <clears throat> the uh the car's so much lower now that I can't even fit a jack under it, so it's pretty ridiculous. All right, the moment of truth. It's time to start her up. I think I'm gonna do valves closed to start it. All right, so that's valves closed. Whew, are you ready for this? Oh, turn that down. All right, here we go. It's already a little bit louder with the valves closed. It sounds good though, like it doesn't sound raspy the way it did. Cause this is pretty cold. This is a pretty cold start. And on cold starts, it rattled so bad I couldn't stand it. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Alright. Let's open the valves up. <laughs> wow, that sounds way different. Just sitting there idling, it sounds freaking mean. And badass. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Um, it's like 11 o'clock at night right now. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll get through um, some sound clips because if I go revving this right now, it's all my neighbors gonna be mad. So uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do some sound clips, but. That does it for the install, so thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.